Come on. Come on. Don't worry. I'm gonna take good care of her. I need any DNA information you can give me ASAP. Will do. Charlie, you're with me. Yeah. We're gonna get this guy, Rex. I promise. Hello there. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you? Good. I see you're you're actually in the dog training facility. Is that correct? Yeah, this is the dog the dog stunt gym. I'm not sure if you can see uh, much behind me, but um, this is where Sherry and the dog team uh, train all the dogs for the uh, the stunt work that they're doing. Um, and uh, it's uh, you can't quite see from the frame, but it's a, a pretty large studio with uh, a lot of equipment. So it's a uh, uh, this is where they spend a lot of their time getting ready. That's amazing. So do you, you know, speaking about the third season and even just your journey so far, have you picked up on some of the, like dog training tricks or like things that you need to, to, I guess not even things you need in the show, but like things that you could take home with you for, for pets or something. I'm not, I'm not sure it would, I'd have to bring Sherry home with me too. Um, <laughs> I think to, uh, to get any headway, I, I, I don't actually have a dog right now, but I, I've never, um, I've never been uh, very uh, good at training uh, my pets. But uh, I have learned a shorthand with Diesel on set, and it's interesting after a couple seasons how we become quite intuitive with each other, and he anticipates a lot of the things that uh, I'm going to do. So. Uh, oftentimes when I leave a room, he just follows me. There, there doesn't need to be a command. Uh, we just, we have a bit of a rapport now that we sort of, uh, uh understand what each other is going to do a little bit. And are there times, uh, you know, when you're filming that you're actually giving the command for certain things or how does that work usually? In the first couple seasons, I, I would, um, sometimes I would, uh, I, I would cue him for looks or I would cue him with, um, uh, an, an easy command was just is to have him sort of walk beside me um, and uh, uh, keep pace with me. But in the last few years, it, I haven't really needed uh, to do that because usually he'll just walk with me once, um, you know, he knows once they call action that we're, we're, we're going to work. So he usually just follows me. And then Sherry has an incredible shorthand with, uh, with Diesel and can uh, silently give him cues um, for his his uh, next action, and uh, I mean it's really quite quite sophisticated how they they've worked it out. And uh, so I really just stand back and let him. He's just another actor in in the scene. That's amazing. So tell me a bit about the third season. I know this first episode. I, I love the fact that it kind of digs back into the history of where it all started. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a bit about that episode as well as what happens the rest of the season? Yeah, uh, so tonight is is our origin story episode, and we go back to when when Charlie and Diesel meet, and our partnership begins. And I think in our very first episode, Charlie and Diesel had, or sorry, Charlie and Rex had been together for about six months. So this is taking us back even further, right to the beginning, um, and we get an opportunity to see where both those characters were when they met, and you know, maybe the bumps along the road as they kind of uh, find find their way as partners. And uh, I think uh, there, there's a lot of really good action um, in uh, uh, the episode and actually the whole season. I think if there's one thing I would say about this season is uh, people, I, I think, will really respond to the stunts that are, I think we've we've taken it, um, well, Sherry um, and, and uh, and the dog crew have taken it up a notch, and there's some some pretty spectacular stunts that I think people are going to love this year. 
What about your stunts? Are you uh, upping your game this season? <laughs> well, you know, I might try and uh, do a few things here and there. You know, I, th- I think uh, uh, Charlie is. Um, uh, I, I, I like to leave it to the pros when it comes to the the tough stunts, and um, you know, my my stunt double Kyle Snow. Uh, he he makes me look better than 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 I would. So I like to let him you know, work his magic. I believe there's an, uh, a scene where you jump into the the ocean. Uh, was that your your stunt uh, person? Yeah, there's a there's a jump off a cliff, um, sixty foot cliff, I think, into a river. Um, oh, it was a river. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's even more dangerous. Is rocks everywhere, and you know, very narrow alleyway for uh, for landing. But um, no, I did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I did jump off the top, and I land on a mat. So you, they, you shoot up at me as I jump uh, jump over the camera. And, but I mean, it was like it was a good five feet. <laughs> Do you, are, you know, I mean, that is an interesting side of the show, of course, that, that there's quite a bit of running and chasing and, and yeah. stuff like that. Do you, uh, do you find that's tested you more than maybe some shows? Uh, well, actually, I really love the, the action component of the show. I, um, uh, that's, that, that's one of the most fun aspects. And uh, when it comes to sort of the t- more technical stuff, I definitely leave that to the, the stunt crew. But uh, any of the sort of running or just the um, you know action stuff with Rex is a great opportunity. I love to uh, take advantage of that. Um, um, so uh, it does mean keeping in shape throughout the course of of shooting and uh, you know um, trying to keep up with with Diesel, which you know I think I think he sometimes slows down just to make me not feel bad. <laughs> Do you, uh, you know, this season, uh, I, I know you guys are actually living in, in, you know, the actual location, which isn't always the case. What's what's it been like, uh, especially given what this year has been? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's been great being in St. John's. I love shooting here and my, my family loves it here as well. My daughter was born here last year. Oh, really? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. My my son was born um, uh, about a year before we came, and then my daughter was born here during season two. And um, I'm from Halifax. It's it's very familiar. St. John's uh, has a very similar vibe to Halifax, and I I love I just love the East Coast. And so it, it hasn't really been that much of a stretch for us to stay in, in the during the hiatuses and um, <clears throat> and. Uh, I think that filming here really adds a quality to the show that is unique. And, and I think St. John's plays almost a character in the show and it, it just looks beautiful on camera. Some of the, the um, sites that uh, we get to film, um, these beautiful cliffs overlooking the ocean and, and uh, amazing um, provincial parks. And, and uh, um, I think, it's uh, it's something that you, we don't see enough on TV. I think, it, and and people get to really see what it looks like here, and it's beautiful. It's amazing. I've always hoped that someday there'll be a, another TV show in New Brunswick because that's where I grew up. So, I, I the, there's been a good amount of Halifax, and now you've got St. John's in Newfoundland. So I'm hoping the next series goes to New Brunswick. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of a series that, that's uh, that's filmed there. I, I actually went to school at Mount A. Oh, really? Yeah, I yeah. almost went there, actually. Did you? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was in Sackville for, for, uh, uh, for uh, four years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's amazing. Well, yeah, maybe someday. Maybe I'll, I'll just keep hoping. <laughs> yeah, Fredericton would be a great spot. I think. Right, I mean, even St. John, I could see the uh, the appeal, yeah. the port city kind of thing again. So I just maybe another uh, uh, cop um, uh, dog uh, spinoff. Hey, there, there's got to be room for at least one more. <laughs> maybe Hudson and Socks. Um, um, this hour has 22 minutes, where it's a detective and his cat. <laughs> I like the idea. <laughs> 
Well, have a good day and thanks very much. Thanks, Andrew. Good chatting with you. Thank <laughs> you.